For this review, I'm going to focus on three new gift set DVD releases. These are great gifts for the holidays. This is kind of a mini gift guide, if you will. Um, but each of them offers up something new and different, even though they've all been available in other configurations in earlier releases. First up, we have the Gone with the Wind 70th, 70th Anniversary box set. Uh, you've probably seen or at least heard about this thing by now. It's a behemoth. It is a monstrous box set, and it's a truly, truly fantastic uh, collection. Uh, of course, the film itself is amazing. I can think of exactly two other movies off the top of my head that have had 70th anniversary editions, and that's because most movies just aren't remembered 70 years later. Those other two movies, of course, were The Wizard of Oz and Casablanca. But Gone with the Wind is a classic for a reason. It's an amazing film that's technically uh, amazing, as well as featuring incredible performances and a great story. It's a little bit long, I won't lie, and the film itself does take some time to get through. Um, but when you sit through the whole thing, it's definitely, definitely worth it. Clark Gable is at the top of his game, Vivian Lee at the top of her game, and it's a really, really a treat of a movie for anybody, especially if you've never seen it before. Of course, I'm not telling you anything you probably already don't know, so let's get to the stuff that you don't know about, which is all the new special features included in the box set. Uh, in terms of video extras, there's about eight hours worth of material, uh, three hours of which are new to this collection. The previous stuff was all released on the last special edition of Call of the Wind, which came out just a few years back. Uh, what you get that's new is a Warner Brothers Home Entertainment Presents 1939 Hollywood's Greatest Year documentary, and that's narrated by Kenneth Branagh, and of course other films from the year, such as the aforementioned Casablanca and Wizard of Oz are mentioned there as well. Uh, Gone with the Wind, The Legend Lives On featurette, which talks about the film's legacy, and a telefilm called Moviola, The Scarlet O'Hara War with Tony Curtis, and it's a dramatization of producer David Selznick's search for Vivian Lee, or who would ultimately the role of Scarlett O'Hara that would go to Vivian Lee. And uh, as far as I know, it's never been released in any format on home video before, so that's pretty exciting. Of course, all that stuff isn't enough to warrant such an incredibly big box set. So in addition to the five discs worth of movie and special features, uh, you also get a 52-page photo and production art book, 10 5 by 7 watercolor art reproduction prints, uh, an archival letter from uh, David Ostell's, like, of course, the reproduction, uh, a reproduction of the original film program, which is really neat, you know, the programs they used to give out back in the day, which we don't do anymore, and then a bonus CD soundtrack sampler. So it's a pretty neat package all together, and I've seen a few of these from Warner and other companies, and I have to say there's really nothing like opening them up and getting to dig through the goodies on your way into the film itself. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get the Blu-ray to review, so I'm not going to talk too much about the audio-visual portion of the disc, but I will say that it has, has been restored. It does look pretty amazing, uh, and even not on letter, and even not on Blu-ray, it looks and sounds pretty great. So the Gone with the Wind 70th Anniversary Edition, without a doubt, is highly recommended if you love classic cinema, or just this film in particular. Next up, we have Rome, the complete series on Blu-ray. Now, I was never really into Rome when it was on the air, mostly because I don't get any of the pay channels, so I never watched the show when it was on HBO. Um, but the limited exposure to it I've had to date has not really overwhelmed me with a desire to see the show. Still, when I get a package like this in front of me, I definitely want to check it out. Uh, I always like to make sure I'm not missing out on something. And so I popped in Rome, disc one, and started my journey. What I found is that my initial impressions of the series were pretty much spot on. It's a really fantastic looking, well produced show with some great performances that ultimately just doesn't quite do it for me. I admire the historical accuracy, the reproduction of Rome in its heyday, and everything about the show looks fantastic, and I really can't argue with any of that side of things. But ultimately, I just couldn't get wrapped up in the characters and the storyline. It's not a terrible show. It's not even a bad show by any stretch of the imagination. It's just not a show that really speaks to whatever it is in me that I, makes me get addicted to a television show. If you like the show, however, this is a set to get. The Blu-ray treatment is extremely good. Uh, the picture quality is amazing. It captures the feel of the show. So there's still that gritty kind of look that really captures what Rome is about. Picture clarity is impressive. Colors are well saturated, although occasionally things do look a little desaturated. I believe that's intentional on the part of the filmmakers. It really is the look of the show. It's a pretty distinct look, and I think once you pop it in and watch it on Blu-ray, you'll be very satisfied with it. Uh, consequently, the surround sound is also pretty fantastic. It's a show that has a lot of action in it, although I don't consider it an action show, it's a drama show, but the surround sound really kind of brings the sounds of ancient Rome to life. 
it's not exploding at you from every direction every second of the show. But there's a really nice ambiance and atmosphere to the surround that really makes you feel like you're there in this recreation of ancient Rome. In terms of extra features, there are two new extra features exclusive to the Blu-ray. They're both these interactive on-screen guides. One of them is called All Roads Lead to Rome, and it kind of takes you through the history of Rome and the, the kind of more uh, educational aspect of things, if you will. There's also one called Bloodlines, which is another on-screen guide, and this one highlights the connections between all of the different characters and families in Rome. So those are both kind of interesting if you like that type of thing. They're not intrusive, which is nice. You can still watch the show and leave them on there and pick up some extra knowledge as you go. In addition, you get all of the original extra features that were included uh, in the Three Seasons original box set. So you get a total of 13 audio commentaries from the cast and crew, four making of featurettes about the production of the show, uh, three historical featurettes talking about Rome and the people that inhabited it back in ancient Rome, uh, and two featurettes that focus on specific scenes created throughout the series. So overall, this is a very nice package. It all comes in a really sharp-looking hard box, and if you're a fan of the show, you really can't get much better than this, and I don't think you will. I think this is the ultimate edition of the show we're going to see for quite some time. For me, I'm glad to have it. I think I'll go back and visit the show again at some point, maybe try and watch it piece by piece, but ultimately I can't say that it's a series that I've fallen in love with. Finally, we have the March of the Penguins limited edition gift set, courtesy of Warner and National Geographic Feature Films. And while March of the Penguins is a fantastic documentary, and obviously it's a film that got a lot of attention and became a big success for documentaries, this is the one gift set that smacks just a little bit of pure consumerism. Uh, that being said, you do get your money's worth. It just clearly seems to me like there was no real reason to put it out except for just to try and scrape a few extra bucks out of the holiday season. What you get in this gift set are the original March of the Penguins film. You also get a brand new documentary called On the Wings of Penguins, which focuses on warm weather African penguins, so it's a little bit different from March of the Penguins. Uh, it's, it's a good documentary. It's obviously not as good as the original film, but it's worth watching. And if you don't have the original movie, then this is certainly a nice bonus feature that could uh, enhance your reasoning for picking up the gift set. Uh, showing that it's kind of geared more for the younger audience, it also comes with a little plush penguin, which is described as being huggable on the back of the box. I don't know if that's accurate since it's about half the size of a beanie baby, but it is fairly cute for what it is. And finally, you get a set of eight penguin postcards. I don't know what you would do with them. Maybe you could send them out as Christmas gifts or uh, holiday greetings cards, but that's what you get in this fairly nice box set. Like I said, if you don't own the film already, this is a great way to pick it up. You get the extra bonus film, which is a nice treat. Or if you have a younger member of your family or, or a friend who's enamored of Penguin still from the time when the movie came out four years ago, this is a nice set to get. Other than that, there's really no reason to rush out and pick it up.